my friend, is micro trout. <laughs> it's definitely a micro trout. Rehook him and throw him out and catch a big trout. Guys, one of the most versatile artificial lures that you can use is right here. Cork and a gulp. If I had one artificial lure that all I could fish was one artificial lure, this would be it right here. A cork on a gulp. What we're using is the old Bayside Paradise Popper. The nice thing about these corks is that they are no memory, flexible titanium wire. This titanium wire right here, no matter how much you bend it, it always goes back straight. This cork's been fished many, many times and it's still perfectly straight. It doesn't tangle. Really, really nice quality product right here. The other thing we're using, we're using about maybe two and a half feet of fluorocarbon. Uh, this is 25 pound fluorocarbon. I go to a treble hook and we're running a gulp, one through the head just like that. When that starts getting a little tore up, I can move it to a different position. Uh, it gives us a real good hook ratio and running it real far forward on the lure also helps us with uh, getting trout hooked too deep. I don't like hooking the trout too deep with the, with the cork. So running a treble hook far forward on the bait uh, helps you get nice hook sets in the jaw and in the lip where you're not really hurting the fish, especially if you're catching undersized fish. This is the four inch white shrimp from Gulp with the new uh, chartreuse tails. The tails hold up really well, by the way. Uh, fishing basic uh, Shimano CI4 Stratic reels and we are fishing about three feet of water right now on a two and a half foot cork. The cork allows me as I pop the, the, the shrimp to work almost the entire water column. I can reel in a little bit, bring it up to the surface and let it come back down. I'm fishing almost 100% of the water column. So I got a two and a half foot leader and three feet of water. I don't catch any grass. It's a really effective way of fishing. If you've never fished a cork before, this right here, uh, if I don't know what they're hitting and it's been a while since I've been on the water, this is what I'm gonna throw. We got action on the water. Wrong species, but skipjack. Skipjack blowing up on the water. Birds working the skipjack blowing up on the water. But that right there is how you read the water. You find those skipjack, a lot of times, the next available grass line will hold fish, trout and reds. So we're gonna look for some trout and redfish on the other side of this skipjack. Pelicans are your pelicans are your friends. When you see pelicans, it's only a good sign. Here we, go, here we go. One of the tricky parts about fishing a cork is that you have a lot of bag in your line. Your line comes down and then it drops with the cork. So you lose some sensitivity. You gotta be a little harder on the set, not necessarily how hard you push the hook in, but how much slack you have to take out in order for you to get pressure on the hook. So when you're fishing a cork, remember guys, you need to have, you need to bring up a lot more slack before you actually get pressure on the line. If you're using a cork, monofilament is not the way to go. A uh, braided line will be much better for you because it will help you get an instant hook set. Now this isn't exactly what we're going after, but fun fish nonetheless. Nice hard fighting skipjack. By the way, these are excellent baits. Uh, oily fish, they cut real well for cut bait. They are really fun to catch too, if you find some big skipjack like that. Fun fighters, we call these the poor man's tarpon right here. Those working pelicans, always a sure sign of fish. It might not be the right species, but always a sure sign of fish. That's a good one. Look at that fatty. Still a little green. Nice job. <laughs> Woo, look at that bad boy. Yeah. He hammered it, dude.
Alright. Fishing white gulp, jig head, spinning gear. Twenty-seven on the money. Twenty-seven on the money. Five and a half pounds. Nice looking fish. Very nice, Marky. Very nice. All right, nice 27 inch trout, fought hard. She's still nice and lively. Off she goes. Oh. I don't think this is a skipjack. Well, you can't even hit it two times already. Screaming drag. Oh yeah. Probably a red, and if it's a red, that's awesome because then we found the area that they're in. I just saw it. Artificial lure today. Hey guys, see that hook right there? That's my mistake. We normally run these little rod wraps on it. Put those little rod wraps on it. Keep them from hooking your buddy. Got a nice redfish on right now. Beautiful copper redfish. Nice big bright spot on them. Very healthy looking fish. Good job, Marky. Beautiful sound right there. Oh yeah, a nice redfish. Catching them on gulps. We're seeing the little school starting to wake up and we're just casting towards the weights. Wearing himself out a little bit. Redfish are strong for their size. And that's pulling drag on a 4,000. Fishing Shimano 4,000s, 30 pound Power Pro. What kind of leader you got on, Marky? 30 pound fluorocarbon made by Yozuri. I can't think of a better sound in the world than that right there. Uh, I wake up to that noise. <laughs> I'm going to make a fishing alarm clock. <laughs> if that's what goes off in the morning. Better than coffee. Oh, yeah. This would be the redfish that you'd want to catch on tournament day. Today. It's warm enough. Look at this beautiful redfish. But not too hot. That's a pretty one. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, yeah. Great looking redfish. Big, strong fighters. Good job there, buddy. Woo! That's a nice one, dude. That's a great looking redfish. That is a nice one. Nice, big, wide. That is a... I think this is a tournament red. I keep. Let's grab the bogus, see how much he weighs. 20... 27. Six and a quarter redfish. Beautiful. Look at that beast. Look at that guy. Beautiful fish. Good job. All right, my mouth's hooked up. Nice redfish. This right here is my backup rig. This is a 3000 Stratic Shimano spinning gear. Still plenty enough to whoop these redfish. Nice, hard fighting fish. You'll see the boat and start running in a second here. run 
this side of the boat. Oh yeah. Nice, good looking red. Nice redfish. Fishing a popping cork with the gulp. We're using the pearl white. This is actually the new uh, shape. I think it's called mud minnow croaker. In the net he goes. Guys, if you've never fished boga grips, go buy some. They're the best money you can buy. They will save you time and time again from losing fish. One of my absolute favorite products on the market. That, sir, is woo, 27 and a half. Let's double get, check him, make sure he's getting up. Nose, nose to tail. It is 27 and a half, which is tournament. right in line, baby. Tournament red. Let's see. We got... Six and a half pounder. Sweet. Look at that beautiful fish. Beautiful looking red fish. Way to go. He doesn't always drink Dos Equis, but when the most interesting fisherman in the world drinks beer, he drinks Dos Equis. <laughs> Let your friend go. Maybe he swims. Guys, when you're fishing a popping cork, one of the things you gotta remember is if your rod is, is a little stiffer, you'll have better luck. Uh, this rod right here isn't my normal popping uh, popping cork rod. It's a little light, but it's still working. Uh, I would prefer a little heavier rod on this. The other thing you're going to want to do once you get that bait out there, you're going to give it a couple of pops, reel in the slack. One of the things that's difficult when fishing a popping cork is constantly keeping the slack in. If you have too much slack in your line, you lose all sensitivity, and it's difficult to find the hook set. As soon as it lands, pull up the slack. And one of the main things about the popping cork is the popping. You want to pop it and get some action going on that cork. That sound is going to mimic one fish hitting a bait. So fish in the vicinity are going to come and check out and see what's going on. The other nice thing about a popping cork is you have a visual key on when your bait is getting messed with or bumped. You'll see it kind of start di dipping under. And obviously, if it comes under real hard and quick, you know that you got a fish on. Check us out at modernpawnandguns.com. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Stay safe.